This is actually the top drawer of a two drawer filing cabinet and I use it to put my makeup in that I'm using at the moment. It is a disorganized mess and I am so ready for spring that I am about to shop my stash. Yes, you guys. I have enough makeup that I can shop my own stash. So stick around if you'd like to shop my stash with me and organize my makeup. All right, here we go. Let's empty this baby. It'll empty a lot faster for you than it will me. Hey guys. So it is Sunday. I am knocking out some videos for you guys and I'm trying to get some things done that just need done. So today I needed to do this clean out and I thought maybe you guys would like to no, you're not alone if you're also a makeup fanatic like I am. I love makeup, but it is time to use up everything I've got and not shop for more. I have makeup from every end of the spectrum, from the cheapest of the cheap, like Dollar Tree, up to, you know, $50 foundation, everything and you know the truth be told I don't see a lot of difference in any of it the foundation okay foundation I will spend some money on because to me that it's the foundation if you don't have skin that looks just fresh and nice none of your makeup is probably gonna look fresh and nice it's like throwing lipstick on a pig right so here we go Here's what we've got going on now, on the bed here. So we have that container over there, here. This is my stash. <laughs> this is my stash, and this is what I had in the drawer. So, let's get down to business. Let's get some winter colors out, some spring colors in, and let's just do this. Now, I'm not like, a, other than like blush, I don't change things up a ton. And lippies, like I'll put my kind of vampy, darker lippies away, but um, I will warn you that blushes, highlights, and lipstick is my favorite things of makeup life. So I have a lot of those. So let's get to cleaning out and sorting out. All right, so let's get started with foundation. This is like my favorite, my It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is in light. I'm using this now and I'm going to leave out the medium I'm going to leave out the medium because I think I'm going to need it soon. And then I have another medium, I'll leave that out. I also have, I guess that's it for what I have out for foundation. Here, here you go. Everybody needs this in their makeup, right? Doggy poop bags. Do you see what I'm saying here? I'm going to keep these sample things out because I really just want to use them up. Um, I'm sure this is primer potion. Yeah. Then I have the Porefessional, which is my favorite. It used to be my favorite primer. Now I have one. It's the Doctor's Dr. Brandt's Pour No More or something. But I haven't repurchased that because, frankly, I have some to work through. Bye Bye Under Eye. And this is neutral medium. It's a little, it's not dark for me, but it's not as light as I'd like it to be, but I'll use it up. That's fine. Same with this two-in-one concealer and highlighter, Rimmel. Um, really, I'm pretty sure I should just toss that. So, then on top of that, we have this Alme Dual Glow. I couponed this and I got it, I think, for a dollar. And I'm going to need to look something up on that because I am here to tell you 
that I used this and I used it under foundation just in the areas I needed highlighted and when I used my setting spray over it it like melted and I sort of nearly dripped off my face this is the essence I love stage eyeshadow primer I love essence I think it's completely underrated underexposed under talked about so that's my face oh and here I have my stay matte um, that I'm using right now primer as well so there we go face 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 here we go My air spun powder, I don't use it a ton. It really needs to go, you guys. Why am I having such a hard time parting with things? They're only things, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right, this lippy, I'm pretty sure, can get put away for the winter. Highlighter, love. This is... Revolution Beauty or Revolution Make on Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter Powder in Radiant Lights. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. You probably can't see it, but it's gorgeous. <clears throat> this is an old, oh my gosh, this Archie Girls from MAC. This is a very, very light blush, but sometimes that's all I want with just some contour. This blush is from Dollar Tree and it is going to be in a video soon. Yes it is. So that is definitely staying in. This Cabana Boy by The Balm is getting put away for the winter. This clothespin, um, well I don't know why it's in here but we're getting rid of it too. Oh one of Sophia's collar flowers. Don't know why that's in here either. See what I am I the only one this happens to? I do love this nuance, this Selma Hayek gloss. Um, or should I say I think I love it? I haven't worn it in so long. <laughs> so, but that's a good springy color for me. Here's where I get sad. Oh god, you know, yeah, that's going put away. Oh, here's another Pixie Flawless and Poreless um, Flawless and Poreless Primer. This is getting put away. You guys, this whole... I can't tell how things go when I ruin lipsticks. This is going the winter. This is going nowhere. This is, why can't I remember the name? This is the Balm Me Amore. I love this red. I love it. Woohoo! This is going away for the winter. I love Milani lipsticks. This is called Sexy Rose. Hey girl, hey, Sexy Rose coming your way. I can tell you, I don't know where I bought this, but it's a blue base and I'm keeping it out. I only wear blue, blue base reds because if you don't know, orange ones make your teeth look yellow. And I often get comments, <laughs> even from my own sisters, about how white my teeth always look. Um, I'll keep this one out too. This is my Elizabeth Arden Red Door. This is kind of like my signature red. This is just a lip balm I'm keeping out, and obviously I'm keeping out this. This is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. It's getting worn down. Oh, it's beautiful too. And that'll be really nice in the summer. Aha! Here is my, you guys, I'm obsessed with Dr. Pimple Popper. I hope this video isn't too boring. I like just doing this like we're chatting, you know what I mean? Like you're all just sitting in here in your, like, fuzzy slippers and glasses of wine. 
I'm obsess obsessed with Don't Go Do Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with Dr. Pimple Popper. So what did my husband get me for Christmas? Oh yeah. Comedone Extractor. Oh yeah. I've been obsessed with Dr. Pimple Popper for probably, I don't know, five, five six, seven years now. All right, these are new lippies that I'm keeping out. This nudish one. See what I mean? See what I told you about lipsticks? It's a blessing and a curse and another color I'm keeping out. And I'm going to keep this out. No, I'm not. Let's see. I am going to... Um, this is an eyeshadow. See, look at that. I mean, at what point? It's purplish, brownish, but I'll, you know what? I'll keep that out. My brow zings. I'll keep that out. You know what? No, it's time to put... I mean, literally, look how many lipsticks I have out. And look how much stuff I'm not putting away yet. My beauty blenders, um, this is a real beauty blender, this is a real Techniques, I love them both, and they both need washed. This, my friends, this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, this is in Fair Neutral, and this has been like, people swear by it. I'm here to tell you, I am not impressed, I would never repurchase it. And c'est la vie. I mean, I don't have huge dark circles, so it's okay. But I am, like, if I had dark circles, I would be livid. This was my first high-end purchase. And this is, this is the NARS Highlight in Albatross, which is gorgeous. It stays in here at all times. I'll never forget. This is a blush I love, but it's going away for winter. This is another blush I love going away for winter. Same. Um, this is eyebrow gel. This is translucent setting powder. Laura Mercier. That's going with my skin. This is, oh my gosh, this is so old I should throw it away. I'm not going to even admit how old it probably is. It's a wet dry formula, two-in-one eyeshadow. Doesn't even have a color. And this is an Estee Lauder, I think. But it is like my perfect, perfect transition color. It's like perfect my skin color. I'm, I'm using it till the day I die. Just telling you. Or it dies. I will also keep out my Mary Luminizer. Now see, now I've kept out three highlighters and it's not necessary at all, but I'm doing it. Oh no, make that four because here is Girl Meets Pearl highlighter. Now this is not, this is not necessary. See, I, I just don't know what to do. It's staying, it's staying. This is going in, the eye stuff is going back here. This blush is staying out. This powder is staying out. This is staying. These need washed. This is good. I'm going to put this with my eye stuff, I think. I also have this tiny little Stay Don't Stray Benefit um, primer as well. I'm going to put my primers, my primers and my skin finishes all in one. Here we go. Hula bronzer. That has, I've got to use that up before I go cray cray. This is also a Dollar Tree item that is also going to be in a video because I am going to do a get ready with me or just a chit chat makeup with all Dollar Tree or as much Dollar Tree makeup as I can do. This, oh my gosh, you guys, this is my all-time favorite. Well, okay, behind the It Cosmetics and behind the Rimmel or in front of the Mill, mill in front of the Rimmel is the Mally 
foundation. Um, I lost the top. I love this foundation and I am in light. It is the most beautiful foundation on the face of the planet. I also enjoy the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. I have mascara over here. This is my favorite mascara. It is Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof by Essence. Again, completely underrated. I also have the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof. That's actually my original favorite. I cannot, because of my surgeries, line my eyes at this point, but I will keep my... You know what? Why don't I keep my eyebrow stuff in here? That would be a great idea, right? Right. And then I'll go to find it, and I won't be able to find it. I also do the Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara in Waterproof by Rimmel. I don't spend a lot of money on my mascara because I replace it too often with my eye condition. I will never, ever jeopardize or risk an infection. Won't happen. Um, I will keep this in here too. You guys, this isn't working very well. This is all I'm putting away so far. Oh, goodness. Okay, so this can go in there. It's another brow gel. Um, I'm going to put that away. I'm going to put that away. This is eye cream. I'm going to put that over here. Okay, this is brulee. I'm sure of it. I'm going to put that essence away too. And I have the um, jumbo eye pencil and cottage cheese. Still, still. This is brulee. It's a wet and wild shadow. I think this is a buck. It is like a well-kept secret. When you put it all over the eye, all over the lid and into the crease, it has so much dimension that it looks, in my opinion, it looks as though you've used two or three different colors of eyeshadow and you've only used one. So if you're into quick makeup, I highly suggest this Wet n Wild Color Brulee. So I'm going to keep that in there. Um, here are some replacement little rubber thingy my bobbers for my, my um, eyelash curler. Here's another eyeglass cleaner, 24 hour. Um, I used to love these 24 hour color tattoo metals. Mm, let's see. Nope, that baby is still good. Yes. I mean, I haven't used it all winter. I'm not sure why it was in there for winter. I just don't, I don't. I don't live by that hole necessarily there's winter, but there's colors that I like. Okay, I'm putting, yeah, do I keep it out? Yeah, do I put it away? This terrifies me because as you all know how I feel about purple, I bought this. I didn't buy this. <sighs> Did I get this in my stocking? Like, I don't know, but it's this LA colors and I love the colors. This might be, I might've picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Um. I loved the gray colors, and I liked this, like, really dark eggplant purplish, grayish, blackish. Reddish, yellowish, greenish, whitish. I'm going to put it away, though, for the winter. And I'm going to put this green away for the winter. And I do love this Wet n Wild palette, but you know what? It is old. Really old. And I... It needs to go. It just needs to go. All right, so here's this. This I'm putting away. And what just fell? Oh yeah, oh gosh. I got this as the birthday gift and this Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella by NARS. I will buy a full size of that one day. You watch me, mark my words, I will. So here's this, um, let's see. I am not going to wear these colors. 
I'm just not. And this was a sample when I used to get Ipsy. So it's going. Need to purge, guys. I need to purge the makeup. And I'm not, I, I'm just, I'm simply not going to purge my expensive makeup. It's just not going to happen. So, now. Oh, shoot, what's this? Oh my goodness, it's like this never-ending thing of things. Eyebrows. I'm so obsessed with my eyebrows, I just, I can't even function, okay? I am. So, palettes. I just bought this palette, so this is staying out. I have these Naked and Naked 2 palettes that I'd have had for 750 years, but look at this. I mean, they've barely been used. So I'm going to, I'm obviously not getting rid of them, but I think I am going to keep the Naked 2 out for now. Um... I believe this is an e.l.f. blush palette. But see, to me, these are just perfect for spring and summer. So I'm keeping that out, too. And here we go again. Same old stuff again, because I can't fit any of it into my organizer. Alright. The Naked Basics. Um, this is really nice for traveling. Um, but I have so many of these colors in here. Or, no, I don't. Do I have a lot of them in here? I mean, I have a lot of comparable colors, so. Oh, God, but it's all matte, and I love that. Fine, I'll keep it out. God, you guys, you just, I can hear you over there. This is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I'm going to put this away for the winter, or for the summer. Um, what palette is this? This is an Ulta Beauty palette. That I clearly have not ever used. Hello Beautiful. I mean, how, how, do you, how does this happen? How does this happen? And you never use it. Keeping it out. It's getting used now, friends. Okay, I have a lighter. Um, <laughs> this is so funny. I laugh about this because I knew it was there. When I was in element, or not elementary school, when I was in junior high, my best friend Nicole, she used to take her eyeliners or whatever, and she would heat them up with a lighter or with a match because it would soften them and be easier to put on. And so when I just found this, when I took this makeup out, it made me think of you, Nicole. I don't even know if you watch my videos, but it totes made me think of you. All right, I have two setting sprays. They can just go here. I'm gonna need to shop my stash, especially for some um, eyeshadows. And this is an eyeshadow palette that my husband bought me, like one of the first Urban Decay things I think I ever had. And these are fun. These are fun. I think I might keep this out. Yeah, I think I'll keep this out. And I need to use up those sample size things in here anyway, so I'm going to just put that in here on its own. And then I have this. I have the beauty blenders. Okay, we doing good. You see this? I'm gonna put my palettes in here because I put them in the back, kind of. I'm going to put this cup back there. Oh, here, I have some Scentsy samples. If you like Scentsy samples, you just let me know. Yes, I sell Scentsy. 
If you'd like to sell Scentsy, you really let me know. I use these. These are these are a Dollar Tree must-have for me. And they have little cute sayings on them. They're lens wipes, and I use them for my computer screen, my camera screen, my eyeglasses, everything. And I'm down a box, so I need to get on that. Oh my goodness, what's over here? What was I thinking I needed all this for? Okay, so... Again, I say, because of my eyes, I'm not currently wearing lashes, so that can all get put away. But I will put my lip liners here. Um, I need more, I need to grab out of my stash more lip liners too. Okay, what's in here? I think this is Band-Aids. Oh, heavens. Oh, lordy, you guys. Oh, no. Okay, so <laughs> I forgot what I had done. This is makeup that I have, that is, that I'm not going to use anymore or haven't used. Look at this, my lord. That color lipstick. Whew. For when my granddaughter comes over, she can put makeup on with Nona. So this is her makeup bag. All right. Let's see what we've got here in the stash. This is my frightening. I need a drink. Like iced coffee drink. All right, this video is probably so long, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so here's my stash. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. Even more than anyone that you adore and love, it's all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it. Take my heart, but please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. And here we are, we're all cleaned out and we're ready to start again. So that is my makeup drawer clean out and reorganization. I hope I've motivated you to purge a little bit of makeup. Don't take chances with your eyes and really old makeup. It will stink, it won't work and don't put that on your face, okay? Okay, just don't, don't. Put it on your face, okay? Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video, but in the meantime, don't forget to eat good food. Bye, guys. L is for